In this video, you will learn how to cache files so they can be used while offline, manually switch to offline mode, and follow best practices for working in offline mode. Now we'll give a quick introduction to these topics. Offline mode allows you to run Fusion 360 without being connected to the internet. If you're running Fusion 360 and the internet goes down, Fusion 360 will automatically switch to offline mode. For offline mode to work, Fusion 360 must be installed on a Windows or Mac computer. You can also manually switch to offline mode. To do so, click on the job status icon on the top right corner of Fusion 360 screen. Then click on the slider to change to offline mode. While in offline mode, you can edit cached files and you can also create new files. Note that you can run Fusion 360 for two weeks in offline mode. Then you must reconnect to the internet to validate your license and upload your cached files. While in offline mode, note that you can't collaborate, create new folders or projects, or delete or rename a file. Now I'll discuss cached files. When Fusion 360 is running and in online mode, and you're on a Windows and Mac computer, every time you save a file, that file is also saved locally and stored for a set number of days. You can set this duration by going to your preferences and in the general section, change the number of days in the offline cache time period days option. When Fusion 360 is in online mode, you can manually cache design files by going into the data panel, right click on a file or folder, and from the menu click on add to offline cache. You can also cache a project by right clicking on its name, and from the menu click on cache this project. While in offline mode, you can open up cache files via the data panel as you normally would. Note that uncached files are grayed out and cannot be opened. If Fusion 360 went to offline mode because the internet went down, and when the internet comes back on, Fusion 360 will automatically go back to online mode. You can manually switch to online mode by clicking on the job status icon on the top right corner of Fusion 360 screen. Click on the slider to change to online mode. When you're running Fusion 360 on a Windows or Mac computer, and when you normally save a file, the file is also cached locally and stored for a number of determined days. You can set the number of days that these files are stored locally by clicking on your user profile icon and then click on preferences. And in the offline cache time period, you can set the number of days for Fusion to save these files locally. You can also manually cache files by showing the data panel. To cache a file, simply right click on it and from the menu, click on Add to Offline Cache. To cache all the files inside of a folder, simply right-click on that folder name, and then click Add to Offline Cache. To cache all the design files inside of a project, click on the Home icon, and then right-click on the desired project, and from the menu, click on Cache This Project. I'm gonna make the transitioning to Fusion 360 project current again. If the internet goes out while you're running Fusion 360, you will automatically be switched to offline mode. You can also manually switch to offline mode by clicking on the job status icon on the upper right hand corner of the Fusion 360 screen and then click on the slider. In the dialog box, you'll be reminded what you can do in offline mode. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Notice in the data panel that this one file is grayed out. A grayed out file cannot be opened in offline mode because it has not been cached. For the files that have been cached, you can open them normally. Here I'm going to open up the phone stand file. Notice that this is the first version of this file. Now I'm going to add a fillet feature to this component. I'm just going to go ahead and select two edges, enter in a value, and then press enter. And now I'll save the file. Notice when I saved the file, I was not prompted to enter a version description. Version descriptions are not supported in the offline mode. In offline mode, you can also create a new file, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to create a simple cylinder. And now I'll save the file. And then I'll enter in a file name called Cylinder and click on Save. Notice in the data panel that the file was saved and the current version is set at zero. Next, I'll change back to the online mode by clicking on the job status icon and then clicking on the slider. And the two files I saved while in offline mode have been uploaded. You'll notice here in the data panel that the cylinder is now set to version one and the phone stand is now set to version two. And this completes this video on what happens if the internet goes down. Thanks for watching.